Hey our review family, keep it, I keep it tight, my name is Jamors, the review guy reviewing music for the love of music, and I'm back again to bring you another video, and in this one I'm going to be covering the new Avatar record entitled Hunter Gatherer. Coming off the critically acclaimed concept record that was dropped back in 2018, Avatar Country, we have Avatar coming back with their 8th studio length album, this long running Swedish heavy metal band. In many ways you can compare them a lot to contemporaries from the scene, Mashuga would not be a bad comparison whatsoever, the Swedes have have a knack for taking genres that are notoriously maybe tame, touched up, and just turning them throttling and heavy and somehow gaining appeal from it. I believe as of the recording of this video, Avatar, and this record just released, has over 500,000 monthly plays on Spotify. Now not only is that a number you don't scoff at from any genre, any artist, any band, but for specifically metal and a pretty heavy type of metal that is extremely impressive. They've excessively released records and this was one that I was anticipating quite a bit. I really like how throttling they sound, and even if their sound is sometimes a bit tame for my liking for the genre, you can't deny that the way that they blend melodic death metal, heavy metal, groove metal into this frenzied, frantic style, it is always a very dark, bleak sound that just busts your head in. Vocals of frontman Johan Eckerstrom still sound fantastic throat shredding. They just have this shrill timbre to them that I'm always attracted to. Now generally, these tracks are groove laden per usual, pretty tight track listing, pretty good production style. There are some minor complaints that I have about this record that might not seem too minor, and it's just something that I have noticed with Avatar considerably more as they progress in their discography. Not a big fan of the chorus work on this specific record. A lot of that comes from the way it is mixed. It sounds a lot like old school heavy metal, the Black Sabbaths of the genre, where it has this faded out reverb effect that stands out in the mix and not in the best way. There's a bit of a differential in the worst way. With that being said, it's not something that is super intrusive by any stretch. And another thing that you can take either positively or negatively, the first half of this record is much better than the back half. Track one is throttling, love the growls, love the production, the guitar work is so crisp. The second track also has this odd, close, intimate type of singing, hushed, very like shh, down low. That combined with this Pantera-esque groove metal chugging, extremely slow down-tempo riff that leads this first half of a track. It's so condensed. Although the chugginess does carry over to other sections of this track, one issue that I do have with Colossus is, once again, when it bursts into the chorus, it just seems too soaring for the tone of the track and the balance just does not seem as equalized as I might like. It's so heavy, and I hate to use the term brutal, but it's brutal in the sense of just being cacophonous without overdoing it. That general compression that makes you feel like you're being squeezed until you're about to pop is sold a lot short when you go into this very clean, sanitized chorus. It is definitely in the vein of other Swedish heavy metal bands, and especially heavy metal bands from the 80s and the 70s, which by far Avatar are inspired by, but here in the execution, I believe it could have been done in more of a fitting way to kind of combat or accompany everything else that was happening in the instrumentation. Too many times on this record, the chorus work just does not feel as equalized as everything else on the record, and that goes for both the production and the performance overall. When it comes to commending things though, drum sound massive on this record, the guitar work is gnarly, it's this dance, this really great tapestry that's unfolding before your very eyes, and like, I said the aforementioned Johan does amazing on the vocals, and apologies if I'm mispronouncing his name. I understand that there's different pronunciations of Johannes, uh, Johan, there's different pronunciations. Apologies for that. I'm a critic, I don't proclaim to be a linguist of names. And while I wouldn't go so far as to say that the songwriting is top notch, it keeps tight and cohesive enough to really string together the whole record as a whole, but give each track its own unique taste for Avatar. I do think that this is one of their more restrained and tame records that they have come out with up until this point. While the heavy parts really do pop and have a great hit to them, the chorus work, some of the verse work, some of the bridge work, a little bit of the production does seem touched up in the sense of not necessarily being commercially viable, but being accessible, being well digestible, nothing too innovative coming out here, there's nothing too experimental, but I don't think that Avatar needed to innovate or needed to change up their formula too much to have a pattern that was enjoyable both by longtime fans and also newcomers. 
as a whole, this record is good. It's not only feasible, but it doesn't just pass the test, it does a good job of passing the test. And while some of the tracks here are some of Avatar's weaker releases in recent years, the consistency that they have had to continuously put out records of a very high quality with just an overall good mix, I would not say that they have released a dud up until this point. I will also say that concept-wise, I enjoyed their last record as well. Lyrically, I think this is also a step down from their last record. Really enjoyed the concept on their last record, even though it was loose in the sense that it's not Pink Floyd's wall or anything. But just generally, in the future, would love to see Avatar continue to up the ante, maybe take some risks, some bold risks, without sacrificing any of their initial flair. It would be cool to see them dive more into some really deeper concepts, maybe some intrinsic ideas that have always been valued by Avatar, but just performed more extensively. At this point in their career, I don't think that anyone would complain if they tried up something just a tad bit different, but as a whole, with what we're getting, it's still very strong. It's still a good listen, very tight performance. Really have to commend the band for that. And even though it's not my favorite in Avatar's discography, I'm going to be giving this record a 7 out of 10. And that is a wrap. Have you heard this new Avatar record, Hunter Gatherer? If you have, let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this record. I would love to discuss it with you. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to join the review family today and smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. You know who it is. My name is Jay Morris, the review guy. I'm signing off saying, Fair well.